Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be installing the Toyota Tundra lower control arm skid. Let's get started. So we're down here under the Tundra installing the lower control arm skid and it's super simple. Uh, all the hardware is provided so you, you're going to get the carriage bolts, slide them in the square holes and simply slide them in the three holes in the lower control arm. So now that all three bolts are tightened up, you pretty much duplicate the same thing on the other side and you're done. So now that you saw the install, it's really, really easy. It takes no time at all. Now, why do you need lower control arm skids? Well, when you're off-roading, the lower control arm from the factory is not designed to take the impacts from the rocks. And you could potentially damage or cause other damage by hitting the rocks at extreme rate. Now, let me tell you about um, what we built into our lower control arms. Now, as you can see, the angle in the front here is not 90 degrees, it's at a pitch. That's so when you hit something, it will deflect, as well as in the back. So if you happen to have to go backwards, it is also an angle so you can get over and roll over the obstacle that you need. Now, it's double plated on the side. This is 3 16 steel, and you can also get in quarter inch aluminum as, a, as an option. It's notched out for the sway bar here, and um, it's made in America, it's the best thing ever. So you can get this product at regofabrication.com and look us up on Instagram at regofabrication as well as Facebook at regofabrication and follow us on our Facebook group, Rego Cool Kids Club. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.